Hey, what's up? Ian from Power House Miniatures. How you doing? Welcome to another 40k showcase video of Gene Steeler Cult Goliath Truck and Goliath Rock Grinders. So as you can see, I've got them all magnetised, and uh, yeah, it's two in total. So basically, we got the two. Uh, the new kits came on Saturday, or uh, it was like the first of October 2016. Obviously, you're watching at this at least at some point in the future. So they, uh, yeah, they've been out a few weeks for me anyway. So there's the little rock grinder dude in the front and then the three weapon options so basically on the kit itself the normal truck is just as, um, an auto cannon so there it is and the auto cannon on the truck itself was just mounted on this little piece here where the uh, the weapon mount is so <clears throat> I basically did a mix of the two variants like the truck and the rock grinder itself so that you've got um, you've got the dudes in the back which is usually only for the truck um, and then the grinder piece in the front and then the little um, weapon mount so it's all magnetized so the um so it's like you can switch between the two so i'll use i'll take this one out of the way just for now um and then half the weapons like that so that i can get my hands in um so basically the grinder piece comes off on the front so if I'd have thought about it, I would have done a little like how to magnetize video, and I've seen them on um, a few of the channels before, like Na uh, Nick from IDIC Beer. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, like Idick or something. I don't know. <laughs> IDIC, and uh, he's awesome. So um, he comments on all my videos. So cheers for that, because he's a, he's a cool guy and he's got a, like a good channel and stuff. Loads of useful tutorials and things. And he does like a how to magnetize series. So I might consider doing that in the future or the next time I, I paint one of these. Will so basically on the inside I have this little like uh, rung piece. So you clip it off, and then you clip it off on the front of the rock grinder just there. So we got, in fact, I'll show you. Because obviously they painted over, but the paint comes off the magnet. And I can't get a paint to stick to the magnet, I don't know why. Even with the primers and stuff. So basically we've got the two 3 mil magnets on the front, just there. Um, and on, on, the, on the inside of the rock grinder piece itself. So all you do, just got the two magnets, make sure the polarities are right. And there it is, just locks together. So you got, you know, both variants out of one. So and then on the side as well. Like I said, I went for a balance between the uh, the thing because like the truck only has an auto cannon. So on the front of this spoke, um, got some green stuff and a couple of magnets inside this piece and inside there. So then you can just have the uh, auto cannon and take the rock grinder section off, um, which is basically that's the Goliath truck. So pretty cool uh, and again see the nice paint paint job and stuff oh I think it's nice anyway <laughs> so basically this copy of the sort of games workshop theme they did Celestra grey like a light grey uh, washed with uh, Reichland flesh shade and you can see on the guys like in the back it comes out really nice it's actually quite a nice scheme for the uh, the riders of the truck to have um, that like light grey it's like a blue grey it's almost like uh, Fenrisian grey and it matches almost completely with wolf uh, yeah, Wolf Grey from Valeo Gamer. Yeah, so that's a, that's a truck basically. So you've got the auto cannon on the front, um, and non the non rock grinder piece, and then you got your rock grinder section, which just magnetises nicely onto the front, and then you've got your choice of the heavy incinerator. You got the mining laser thing, and then whatever this one's called, <laughs> the last one. That, oh, Excuse me. I'll paint it off in green. Let's just have a look in the book. Uh, heavy seismic cannon. So there you go. Yeah, just I keep knocking the camera. I'm just clumsy sometimes. So there you go. Pretty much it. So you got like the three three weapons for the front, um, and then the auto cannon. So like I said, you, you basically make a, a slight compromise in the way the truck looks to have it just as one. Because the other, other one on the back, it doesn't have the, I think it's the rock grinder itself, it doesn't have the guys stood in the back. Um, it just has the, um, it's got a little piece that sits over the top that looks like boxes underneath a tarp, basically. And yeah, I see that on the pictures and stuff. So there you go. So, uh, like I said, it's, just, it's a slight compromise, but obviously it looks awesome. And it's relatively easy to do as well. Like some of the kits are difficult, or like... To magnetise the uh, stubber on the front, it's on a curved surface, which is impossible to get the round magnets in and all the rest of it, so like, it's kind of difficult. But, um, yeah, two of these. And again, this one's exactly the same. Um, magnetise on the front. 
uh, little piece. There's a little, like a, an indent just there, which sits on the mount of the front of this gun, so it's like, you know, they slot together. This one's exactly the same. Two magnets on the inside of the rock grinder piece, two magnets on the front. And that's it. Super satisfying when that goes well. <laughs> like, the magnets. Obviously, really careful not to like slam them together, and you're good. So that's it. So two rock grinders and two Goliath trucks. So my original uh, thought was to do two squads of the uh, Acolyte hybrids, which I've I've got and I've um, and I've got assembled and primed and airbrushed and everything. I'm just really swamped with commission work at the moment. Um, got a lot of stuff to crack on with. Otherwise, I would have done that to, to do the demolition claw formation. So they have demolition charges, which is a strength eight AP two large blast, which is awesome. And with this demolition claw thing, you can give the Goliath rock grinders the demolition charge upgrade. So somebody in the back of the truck can throw one, and there's obviously a load of firing points on the back. So you can throw one from the, the truck, um, and then the acolyte squad, who's obviously upgraded with the uh, uh, demolition charge, can chuck one as well. And then there's a rule like on a four plus, they can replenish the charge. I think it's like one use only. So you can have these things front armor twelve. Busting around, uh, throwing like four la four strength eight AP two large blast templates a turn for about a hundred points each, which is crazy. And then on the front as well, they've got the uh, uh, the rock grinder piece is basically what the, there's an orc tank. Um, oh, I forget what it's called. Yeah, uh, oh, I forgot. Ah, I slipped me. Sorry, but it's like a like a crushing thing on the front and it should have should have worked in a similar sort of way to this like taking really high strength hits from a uh, tank shocking with this tank so yeah as, as always there's sort of like a light infantry um like low armor generally five five up is about right low toughness but it has an alpha strike um with infiltrate and stealth and the ambush the cut ambush rules and everything like that it's, it's basically what you'd imagine dark eldar should be do you know what I mean? Like, Alpha Strike. Glass Hammer, but Alpha Strike. So, um, just super pleased with them. And like I said, the models are relatively expensive, which is the only thing with those sorts of armies that you need a high model count um, to make them really worthwhile. And these things are like 30 quid each, and they take a long time to paint and assemble. Like, they're, you know, relatively large. Um, nothing, nothing crazy, but, you know, quite big. And then with the guys in the back, it just takes a little while to paint them up because of the... Uh, there's like six guys to paint, and obviously I didn't put them on, but there's a guy you can have as a gunner there as well, so... You could in total be painting eight guys, which is obviously half a squad of the neophytes anyway. So, really, really cool. Um, and of course, with the high model count army, if you get the Death Watch Overkill box, you can sell the Space Marines side on. You know, you can buy them for sort of £80 online or on Element Games or something. It's like 20% off or whatever it is, 15% off Games Workshop price. So if 80 quid or 60 quid or whatever, you can get the Gene Steel Claw army from there, which is... I think 12 Acolyte hybrids, 16 Neophyte hybrids, 3 Aberrants, Gozar, you know, the uh, the Patriarch, Magus, Primus, and 2 Familiars. I think that is it. I don't think there's anything else. So oh yeah, and the 2 Pure Strain uh, Gene Stealer, Princelings. So you can get them too as well. So like, be between those, you can start off the majority of your army with just that for like 60 quid. And it'll get you know, 80 quid if you, then you just get the, the Death Watch, um, Kill Team Cassius squad. Which you can sell or you know whatever. So between that and maybe like two of these rock grinders, you you pretty much set um, for like a, a fairly decent army, like you know a thousand points sort of thing with the upgrades. And uh, yeah, these things super useful because like I said you can magnetize them really easily, so you can switch you know switch between the ones. So in future, like I said I'll do a little um, if I get around to it. It's really time consuming some of these things, and obviously in terms of um, how long it takes for what I get back, it is. You know, it's not it's not about money. I, I make these YouTube videos because I enjoy it or whatever, and it's, it's a good way to connect with people. But at the same time, uh, it would be nice to make a couple of pence uh, making some of the videos, which is what I've made so far, basically. So yeah, I'll do a little magnetizing tutorial on them because that's a, they're really easy. But to switch between these two, and there's that demolition demolition claw detachment or the formation. So if you've got that, and like I said, this it's like ramshackle and a bit weird. But if that goes off, like I said, four strength a AP two large blast templates per turn um, and you know open top vehicle it's, they're relatively weak but yeah if it, uh, if it goes well it can be absolutely devastating and again for really low points so really going to keep your enemy guessing or 
you know, having to to pump firepower into it just in case they can sort of like get all these crazy blast templates off and in the meanwhile the rest of your army's doing its own thing. But in terms of the model itself, like super cool. They've got like a mining theme, the Genius Dealer Cults, which is awesome. And then a lot of the kits that have come out, the Neophyte Squad in particular, is just a box of Cadians, I think, or um just, you know, Imperial Guard troops with a couple of up upgrade sprues and you get a load of spares. Like in the Neophyte hybrids box, for example, you get something like eighteen heads for a five man squad. So you're left over 13, because obviously you can make them as metamorphs or the acolyte hybrid. So you get a load of spare bits. So again, um, it seems expensive on the surface to start off. You know, if you started off orcs or something like that, or tyranids, you know, you, you are going to have to spend a lot of money. But with these ones, it's like, it's a similar sort of thing, but there's a load of deals. And I imagine there's all sorts of conversion potential. I was really, um, really, well, I said I don't have the time, which is a problem. But if I did, I would love to start off a um, like an Admech Gene Stealer cult, where it was like Adeptus Mechanicus models, um, obviously like becoming neophytes and acolytes and stuff like getting ruined by the uh, the Gene Stealer, by infiltrated by the Gene Stealer cult because the Sidonian Dragoons and the Iron Striders would make awesome Sentinels, just with like minimal conversion work. Um, the Rangers and Vanguard would make cool neophytes and acolytes. And then, well, there's a few, I mean, there's a few others. Like, you know, one of the tech priests, the big, um, the Dominus ones, like the the big um, HQ unit. They'd make an awesome patriarch um, with that big flowing cloak and stuff with, like, the claws coming out of it. You know, like, the rending claws instead of the little gun arms and stuff. Anyway, I got deep into the idea of researching it, and then, like, I can't remember how much money it was going to cost and how much time and everything. I decided against it, but... Now it's going to be cool because you're going to see people over the next couple of months do um, other armies that have been affected by the Gene Stealer cult. It, they're awesome models, they're brand new, they've just come out, but on the flip side, they're, it's nostalgia. Some of the really older gamers, like myself, I, I loved them when they first came out, when I first started playing, it's like second edition or something, it was like 20 years ago. And uh, pretty much since then, I've been looking forward to some more models and just forgot, and then when they come out, so it's like, you know hits all bases, they're plugging the, uh, the box game, the board game for now until the separate miniatures come out, uh, you know, Death Watch Overkill which is a massive success obviously, but then also it's got brand new models, they're awesome, they're awesome in the game, um, I can see some of them, I don't I don't know what list it's going to be yet because I don't play too much, but there's going to be some really competitive lists to come up with the Gene Stealer Cult for like Alpha Strike and uh, you know, first turn ambushes and stuff like that, but also um, there's just a massive nostalgia market for them. So it's like covered all the bases. It's very clever. You know, when you think about it, all the different bases they've covered, um, the games workshop to like release them at a certain time and Yeah. It's like they're running a business or something. <laughs> it's like they're trying to make money or something, isn't it? So there you go. Anyway, these it that's it. So Goliath truck, Goliath rock grinders, fully magnetized. These are both for sale at the minute and I'll put the link to the description. Now, link to the eBay listing in the description of this video, so you can check them out there. I've not seen anybody selling any yet, so I'm not quite sure what to charge for them sort of thing, but spent days and days and days actually of my time um, assembling, magnetising, converting, painting, all the rest of it. So That's it. So there's loads of HD pictures of these on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash powerhouse miniatures, and put powerhouse miniatures into Google, and you'll find all the rest of my stuff on there. So that is it. Cheers for watching, and have a good one.